Um, no, they're not that new. Hey Ma, do you know what burst my bubble? What burst your bubble? Uh, people say I'm waiting for Godot to rescue me. Are you familiar with the play Waiting for Godot? Yes, yes. Uh, if you don't know, um, you know, Godot is a character that never comes and never greets the people in the end. So basically, I'm looking for somebody to save me. I'm looking for somebody to transform my life. Uh, and, and I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, being dependent on you and being dependent on dad, unfortunately. And you know what? No, I mean, even though your intentions are good, obviously, uh, you know, unfortunately, you have to live your own life. You have to take control. You have to get the power. And you need to make your life happen. You know, even, even like my uh, Kelly, who was, was I, I, I think she's an ex-girlfriend. I mean, she's definitely a really good friend. I don't know if you'd classify her as a girlfriend. But even in that relationship from 2019 to 2021, uh, she was almost like a parental figure to me in that she would guide me around the city. And yeah, she showed me some wonderful life experiences and I had the funnest times of my life with Kelly. However, you know, when the relationship ended, uh, I went back to sitting in solitude. And that's not her fault. Obviously, that's an unintended consequence of the breakup. You know what I mean? But it kind of, you kind of was sabotaging yourself. And in doing that, in sabotaging yourself, I, I mean, all, you weren't moving forward. Ultimately, right now, I'm a 35-year-old a disabled adult child living in a fantasy land, posting on social media all day long, hoping it's going to make me a movie star. And unless somebody believes I'm going to be a movie star from the social media content that I'm creating, who would want to date me? It's it's it's. Wait, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, there's a there's a term in, in psychiatry. It's called folie du. It's when two people share a delusion. And um, if uh, unless somebody believes I'm going to be a movie star too, who would want to date me? There's no future here. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't have any money. I have less than two thousand dollars in the bank. There, there are many disabled people out there, whatever their disability may be. It's not even the quote-unquote disability. It's doing what you can with what you have, and you have so much more than you think. And it's 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 what you are thinking and perceiving yeah, that's I mean, keeping I mean, you subdued. Right, 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 right. So, so like I think to myself, I should be a late-night talk show host. I think to myself, I'm a comic genius, formative genius, I should be in movies. I think to myself, you know, why aren't, why, and you know, obviously if I was to get an ordinary job in marketing or a barista at a coffee shop, you know, why would I want to work that? I, look at me, I'm Mr. Suave, I'm Mr. Cool, that, 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 that's what I think, uh, you, you know, and unfortunately I'm pouring my life down the drain, not making any money. And but I'm, acceptance, yeah. acceptance of who we are and what we can be if we if we set goals, goals are good, mm -hmm. but unrealistic goals are damaging. Basically, basically, I'm, I use social media to market myself. I, t I use it to market my artwork. But a lot of people do. I, and I have a social media addiction, and I, I and because I'm anxious and agoraphobic, I'm hoping you know Godot's going to come and say, you know what, I've discovered your social media posts. You're going to be Mr. Hollywood now. But I've been waiting for Godot for 15 years. It's not happening, and except it's not happening. And the key is to live in the real world. Get out of the house. And find things that help you with living in the real world. And do you know? And do you know? Do you know what I found? You know, when I did live in the real world, uh, you know, like when I knew Kelly in 2019 to 2021, for example, uh, you know, uh, I had the funnest experiences of my life. You know, like uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, I, I, I had a good time. You know, I was afraid of going into New York City because I felt like I was going to get physically assaulted. I felt like. I felt like I was going to get attacked. Everybody's afraid. Yeah, of that. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what I discovered in New York, what I discovered sitting in solitude at home, like I did for pretty much all of 2022, is more damaging. It, than it, my mental health was getting assaulted, metaphorically right. speaking. Um, you know, and unfortunately, I'm not making money for my social media content yet. So uh, you know, obviously. Uh, and, and I'm dependent on you at the moment. Living. And and if when when so the person you're dependent on you know, gets older and God forbid dies, you're gonna, I'm gonna be heartbroken by your passing. And not only that, um, not only that, uh, it's gonna be overwhelming because I'm dependent on you too. And I can't afford the apartment I'm living in even though it's beautiful. And I need to prepare for that because, because not only is your, you go into the great beyond gonna be really traumatic uh, just because I lost a loved one, it's gonna be also traumatic because I'm financially dependent on you at the moment. Well, that's what you're moving towards. Those are the goals you're setting. And that is... That is what it is. is.